Welcome back everyone to Pony Plays the Burglar and we have just heard the story of what happened to the dwarves in Balin's party. So now we have to decide what we're going to do about it. I do not know if things will be different this time. We must prepare for the storm. If there is hope to be found in the leaves of Maserable Petronella, I could not see it. If we are to survive where Balin's dwarves did not, we will need to prepare for the coming storm. It may not be possible, but we will at least make our stand. All right. Let us make our stand. And how about a bloodstone gem of dexterity? The company of Balin, son of Fundi came to a foul end in the dark halls of Moria. Durin's bane is gone, but many orcs still dwell within those halls. Can the returning dwarves maintain their hold? The orcs prepare for war, and the dwarves must do the same. It appears that I have unlocked the path to the Mischief Maker. You should find Kelofa at the Foundations of Stone in Moria in order to further my prowess as a burglar. That means to the Foundations of Stone. I think I'll wait until I reach the Foundations of Stone before I do that, which is going to be a little while yet. What's the plan, Bosi? We must make the Chamber of the Crossroads ready for war. I fear that we will meet the same fate as Balin's expedition if we do not prepare for battle, Petronella. If Asfar is to be believed, the vengeance of Mazog, his host, may be swift. We cannot rest until we are prepared for the worst. We must be ready to meet this onslaught, and if we are lucky, we will not be doomed as Balin was, whose road was yet unknown to him. Many dwarves, Slothi, Sigdan, and Thalfi, who are in the chamber of the crossroads, must be told of the situation. You should do anything they ask to help them prepare for the coming storm. The great delving, at least, will be ready. Very well. Let's get the great delving ready. Hello there. Anything I can do to help preparations? Perhaps soon we will toast our victory against the Orcs of Moria. You should have a talk with Bosi to lower your expectations there. Bosi has tried to keep it quiet, but rumor travels quickly in the passage of Moria. Most of us are now aware of Balin's end. They were surrounded, Orcs from the east and below, and the terrible creature in the pool by Holine Gate. We cannot afford for that to happen again, Petronella. But if it does, it is my responsibility to make sure that we have enough supplies to withstand the long siege. I want you to leave Moria and speak to Thorgnir just outside the doors of Durin. Tell him to send as much food as he has to spare and to arrange for more regular schedules. We will not be put in the same dire place as Baleen's company. I would see us avenge them so that they will rest in long peace beneath their stones. Okay, dokie. I suppose so. And uh, what do you need us to do? Abide here a moment, and speak with me. I do not like that well. I looked down it, and couldn't see the bottom. But I'm pretty sure that there's water down there. It makes me nervous. What if the orcs find the bottom of the well and try climbing up? They could use it to get into this room without the sentries noticing. I don't need to tell you what a disaster that would be. I'd feel better if you could find the bottom of the well and make sure there's no way for the orcs to climb up from the chamber. Melmar went looking for it, but I never heard from him. 
I don't know how you get to the bottom safely, but you should find a way down to the waterworks and then look for Narag Heleb, the bottom of the well. I expect you'll find it southeast of the mighty aqueduct of the depths. Uh, don't jump down the well itself, though, unless you think you could fall for uncounted fathoms and land a life on your feet. Well, it, well, if I did, it would make me well traveled, right? <sighs> yeah. And what do you need me to do? If we are to find Mithril in Khazadum, we will first have to deal with the orcs. Do you think we'll be ready by the time the orcs attack us? I do not know if we will, if the orcs know how vulnerable we are now. They will not delay. They would attack us within the very hour. My cousin Spore has taken upon himself to scout the approaches of the chamber of crossroads. If the orcs have any plans to attack soon, he will see the signs and can warn us in time. Please, go help him on his patrol. I am anxious for Spore to have some assistance should an unsavory enemy meander across his path. Hmm. Very well, I shall find Spore and see if he can tell us anything. I think he's out this way. Ah, yes, there he is. Spore! I am not sure Khazadun can be restored. The orcs have surely ruined it. If you're a keen eye and strong of arm, I would welcome your company in my patrol, Petronella. Uh, let us scout for sneaking orcs and might think to gain some advantage by spying on the approaches of the chamber of Korea. Just go ahead. Stay alert! Orc spies should be could be anywhere. Alright, I, I will. They won't even notice me. Hmm. Ooh. And yeah, there you go. Uh -ha. How about that? How about that? Oops. Oh, you died. A job well done. All clear after we kill the orc scout. May Durin return soon to his halls. You did well, and I am pleased that you were there with Spore when it ran into trouble. My cousin is valiant and brave, but some challenges are simply too much for a single dwarf. What? It was just one orc? Good grief. Just one orc? Hello there. The dwarves at the Chamber of Crossroads have requested that we increase the rate of supplies coming in. The Lords of Moria have returned! So the troubles within Moria have begun already? I am not surprised that they have come, but I did not expect that they would be upon us so soon. I would have urged more caution if I... But I held my tongue. Bosi and Broger are capable dwarves, and I did not wish to heed the warnings of my heart. I approve of the decision to order an increased frequency of deliveries into Moria. I have long said that food has been too slowly sent into the mines, for any number of obstacles could besiege our supplies, within or without the mines. I will give you the first of these deliveries. Bring it to Slothy in the Chamber of Crossroads and tell him that more will be coming soon. Okie dokie. Well, the first of these supplies is ready. I have found Narev Khaleb, the bottom of the well. So I think there's a bottom of the well here. Hello there, have you found the bottom of the well? Dark things dwell now in Moria. This is it. Do you see that hole in the cave ceiling above us? Uh, not really. That's the bottom of the well of the Chamber of Crossroads. I don't think we need to worry about orcs climbing up it, though. Oi! Draw your weapons! Oh, whoa, what's wrong? Let's seek our ground. Many foes approach. Well then. I know how to prepare for foes. 
<laughs> they won't even know. You just distract them and then I'll just uh, stick them in the back with a dagger, right? Right. Oh, hello. Oh, well. That wasn't one of my more effective starts. Well, no wonder they, <laughs> due to the water and all that stuff, the markers are a little misleading there. Oops. Let's get that off of me. Oh, frogs! How nice! When you said many foes approach, it apparently many foes are different species. Whee! Everything looks magenta! Yeah. Alright. Next! Actually, let them come up. Apparently this stuff that they put on you breaks stealth, of course. Well then, that's not nice. How can I expect to be an effective burger if you go around countering my stealth? How rude. Well, apparently that doesn't work either. Alright, that, that time I was able to, I think I hit the right one. Well, apparently I must have because he turned to face me. Though I'm seeing magenta again. Whee! This is getting ridiculous! Here comes a big one. Yeah, it's a big one. There you go. One big one. Hello. Oh, I gave you a six. There, how'd that work? Oh, that, that worked out pretty well. I think I devastated on a cash out. Ah! Tell Sophie not to worry. This place is well protected. And by toads and lizards. Yeah, all right, I shall tell him that. And I think it's time to get back to the Chamber of Crossroads. I spoke with the dwarves at the front gate, and they said that they will send the f supplies soon, and here's the first shipment right here. The House of Duty will live forever! Ah, the first of several deliveries from Thorgrid, I hope. Good, good. We won't be shut off from the outside world and caught unaware this time. We will be ready for anything. Oh, one could only hope, right? And oh, what about this side? Oh, oh, here we are, this side. Hello there, I've checked the bottom of the well and... You've got toads, you've got lizards, and you've got probably the most difficult climb that anyone could possibly have in the world. Dwarves must fight for dwarves. You say that Melmar found the bottom of the well and he is confident that the orcs cannot climb it? Well, that's good news. I am less worried now about its presence. We may do all right after all, my friend. Thanks for investigating this for me. You're welcome. There you go. We've checked the bottom of the well. So, what's next? I hope we have done enough, friend. You have indeed done as I asked. Now I can but hope that it will be enough. The great delving at least is sufficiently yet ready. We were fortunate that Mazog had not yet made his move. Well, that's good news at least. Let's see. Hmm. Well, it's pretty good set of shoes. Maybe not as... 
I'll have to decide on that later. The dwarves at the heart of fire must prepare for an attack. You think we're all prepared now? The dwarves at the heart of fire must prepare for an attack. My heart dares to hope that we will be prepared when the orcs mount their attack. There is still time in which to prepare. We must make the most of it. Travel to the way of smiths along the Silvertain Lows and lend your aid to the dwarves working in the heart of fire. The hammer blow will fall hardest there. If Mazog were to learn the importance of those forges to our continued resistance, Stothkel is in charge of the efforts there. Go to him with my commendation of your merits. Very well. We shall go to Stothkel in the heart of fire when we return for the next episode of Piney Plays The Burglar. <laughs>